I'm a toasty wussy roaster who roasts a toast to make toasty roasts. In goes bread, out pops toast. That's how toaster roasts. Uh, konpanwa breadcrumbs. Konpanwa, hello everyone. Um, okay, so when I opened this game like 10 minutes ago, I got jump scared by the main menu. I got jump scared by the main menu because the main menu is, it's all red. And there's like these creepy screeching noises and like it keeps flickering between um, Amori and Sunny. I got jump scared by the menu so badly. I was just like setting things up and I opened the game and then went and I was ah! uh! Anyways, that's why I'm not on the main menu right now because the main menu is not a fun place to be. I already loaded my game. <laughs> so we're just gonna get right into it. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I I had to spend a lot of time yesterday emotionally recovering, but it's probably all just going to be destroyed again today. Konpanwa everyone, konpanwa, konpanwa, when be like Davi, Umohet, still bread Pucci, Trolleni, White Tao, Ekshwasyan. Hello everyone. I'm actually gonna in something as hold on. Let me type something in. Uh, what's I gonna what's I gonna say? Please stay on topic, and and. Do not post unnecessary tips or spoilers. And I'm going to pin that, just in case. Just in case. All right. <sighs> Let's go. Oh, I should check that chat is correct on the window as well. Okay, that's good. All right, let's really go. <laughs> I'll play more lost because I have no idea what is occurring. This is literally the end game, I'm pretty sure. I've been told it's the end game. So I don't think I can explain everything to you fast enough, sorry. Sunny, you're finally here. I've always dreamed that you would come back for me, but maybe it's too late. The truth of that day will be hard to accept. When you see it, you have to stay strong. And if you can, please, forgive me. You got Basil's photo album. Okay. Let us see what is about to happen. The doorway is covered in hair. Oh god, is it retelling what happened that night, that day, through photos? Wait, that is a lot of photos. Oh god. My only daughter is gone, and you, you're my only son. I can't lose you as well. Basil and Sunny is in the background. Did, did Basil actually take photos of all of this stuff while it was happening? Why? That's a creepy sound. Mari is the only one who's not fucked up. Oh god. That's static. What are these? This person is breathing steadily. Is this near the end? No, it's not. It's here. Just one photo, huh? You see four kids riding an elevator. You see five kids having a picnic. You see four kids climbing a ladder to space. Oh, these are three kids and one toast. These are... Right, because I'm in headspace right now. So that's headspace stuff. Stuff from my 
adventures in my previous streams. Yeah, we're in headspace right now. But I'm playing as Sunny, not Amori. Amori being Sunny's evil half, I think. Okay, that's just one photo. Goes here. Am I still missing one? God, what's with that breathing noise? This person is breathing steadily. Oh, here's another one. This person is not breathing. <laughs> ah yes, the staircase. I remember during the drowning segment, I was... Amori was chasing Mari down the staircase and then he stabbed her at the end. He... why is half of my face red? Staircase, where all fears come true. Did Amori stab Mari? I can't tell. Yeah, that's not a good photo at all. Oh my god. Did he push her down the staircase? I'm... <laughs> troll any. If you don't know what's going on, please refrain from asking questions because it's slightly distracting. Um, but a lot of what I'm saying are just theories right now. I don't actually know what happened. And we're finding out right now. This person is not breathing. Did he push her down the stairs? I got the feeling of something like that from the very beginning of the game. That she fell down some stairs. Uh, Mari fell down some stairs. Sunny, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Are these the lines from the beginning of the game? Uh oh, I'm getting more and more corrupted by the red. Mari's calendar. Today is the day of the recital. Where am I? Ah, is this a stage that they're supposed to do a recital on? Something is preventing you from getting any closer. I need to find something. Oh. <laughs> oh boy, what was that? That was not... That was not pleasant. <laughs> Sunny, Amori, what did you do? I can't tell if... Over there. I can't tell if he's smiling or not. He broke the violin. I can't tell if he's smiling or grimacing. Did he really snap because of stress from the recital?
Are they arguing? They were arguing and then Sunny pushed her down the stairs? Why were they having an argument? I thought they loved each other. Oh no, that's just... No, 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 no. That's just... That's just... Amori or Sunny's perception. That's just what he wants to think. Oh no, I'm becoming more and more corrupted. Is the color bleeding out from me and bleeding out from Sunny and turning him into a Mori? Do you want to screw in the light bulb? No, not yet. Okay, let's do it. There's nothing else to do. Okay. Ah yes, the chair. Do you want to pick up this photo? Yes. And then he pushed her down. Yeah, that is what happened. Given how prevalent staircases were, I had a very strong feeling that Mari... Mari's death was staircase related in the very beginning of the game. Well, I mean, after finding out that she was dead at least. Let me through. Oh, I have to... Okay, I have to put all of these photos in now, huh? In the order that it happened. So these were at the beginning. Looking at his hands like, what did I do? The argument. These seem to be kind of out of order. No, they're not. This one is over here. This one is near the beginning. This one is also near the beginning. Yeah, and this one's at the front. Basil witnessed all of this, didn't he? Because Basil was there. Basil wasn't the one taking photos of these, was it? Did he actually take all these photos or do the photos only represent their memories? Did he actually, were these actual photos that were taken? Oh my god, they might actually be real photos that were taken in real life. They're hidden in the toy box, right, with the key? The key that was at the on the back of one of the photos, the photo in the treehouse, there's a key on the back of it. Yeah, they're setting up a noose. They're hiding the true cause of her death. Right? Basil's like... Basil's like, Sunny, no, you, you can't. They can't know that you were the one who killed her. We have to fake her. We have to fake her death. We have to make it look like a suicide or other, otherwise you're screwed. What a... What a friend. Get yourself a best friend who will help you... Who will help you cover up your mur <laughs> a murder that you committed. Get yourself a best friend who will do something like that for you. If your best friend wouldn't help you bury a body, then are they really your best friend? Basil and Amori are the only ones who know the truth, and Amori did kill her. Accidentally. So I guess... Yeah. Killing- having someone die and then covering up their death by hanging them. There's still one more photo after. What that reminds me of. Ah, here's the tree.
He broke his violin because he was too stressed about the recital. Mario gets mad at him. They get into a fight. Amori, or Sunny, accidentally pushes her down the staircase in their fight. She tumbles to the bottom and presumably breaks her neck in the fall and dies. Sunny's like, oh no. Oh no. Can't be. He sees her. She's not breathing. He realizes that she's dead. Puts her in bed because he doesn't know what else to do. And then he's lost and Basil comes. Oh wait, this is Basil looking at his own hands. How did he take this photo? He grabs Sunny and is like, Get up, we have to do something about this. Basil and Sunny drag Mari's body into the backyard. They know what they have to do. They grab the cho the rope from the jump rope, fashion it into a noose, and hang her up. She didn't break her neck in a fall. It was a suicide. Of course. Very comfortable bed. Would you like to go to sleep? No. Is this real life? I'm actually allowed to run. Oh no, I'm not. Okay. Why am I allowed to go everywhere in the middle of the night? Locked. And it's the bathroom. Do I want to jump scare myself in the mirror? Oh, yep, it's still there. It didn't even make a noise this time. It just assumes that you know it's there. Yes, this is one day left. Do you want to save Basil? Save him from what? Of course. Isn't that what we're here to do? This whole game. Find Basil. Oh, he's awake. Ah, Sunny, it's just you. I'm glad you came. It's... it's so good to see you. It came to you that day, the day Mari died. 
when Mari, when Mari fell, you, you couldn't have done it. What? No, wait, Basil doesn't know? Or is he just lying to himself? He, he was there, he saw the photos. He was in the photos. It was something behind you, wasn't it? Yes, the, the thing behind me. You're a good person, Sonny. I know you're a good person. A good person wouldn't do something like that. After all this time, you finally come back for me. But tomorrow, you're going away. How could you do that? That's mean, Sonny. That's so mean. Uh, there's something all around us now. Can you see it, Sonny? There's no way out of this, is there? Where are you going? Stop trying to leave me. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! I don't want to be alone. Not again. You can't leave me again. No, you wouldn't leave me. That's not like you, Sonny. It's something behind you again, isn't it? Ah, uh, there it is now. Do you see it? Stay away! Stay away from me, Sonny! I'll protect you no matter what, Sonny. You can count on me. When something killed Mari, when something ruined all my photos, I didn't say anything. I didn't want people to think it was you, Sonny. Sonny, Sonny wouldn't do something like that. Don't worry, Sonny. I'll save you again. Something behind you. I'll get rid of it once and for all. Sonny. Don't be scared. I'm scared too, but this is for the best. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. What is... What is going on? I can't tell how much of this is in Sunny's imagination and how much of it is actually happening. <sighs> and there's an energy bar this time that wasn't there before. Calm down. It didn't work? You tried to calm down, but your lungs fought to breathe. Basil's eyes are red from crying. You want to run. Nope, I'm not running. Focus. Didn't work. You tried to focus, but nausea overwhelmed you. Basil reaches inside Sunny. Sunny takes three damage. You want to run. Resist. Sunny. There's no way out of this, is there? Out of what? Their despair? Their mutual despair? You tried to persist, but you couldn't hold steady. Basil reaches and says Sonny, Sonny takes 4 damage. You want to run, I'm not doing that. No more skills, only attack. Tell me, Sonny. Am I selfish for doing this? Sunny attacks Basil. Basil takes 18 damage. Basil reaches inside Sunny. Sunny takes 4 damage. Wait, they're using the same attack on each other. Sunny's not even punching him or anything. He's doing the same darkness thing.
Look, they're both afraid. They have the same expression. They have the same expression. Sunny, do you hate me? I can't tell you the answer to that because I don't know either. You want to run. I am not running. Attack. Please, stop it! Sunny attacks Basil. Basil takes 14 damage. Basil reaches inside Sunny. Sunny takes 7 damage. What are they doing to each other? Are they actually fighting? Or are they... Like... What is happening in real life? Stop struggling, Sunny. I'm... I'm so tired. Sunny attacks Basil. Basil takes 14 damage. Basil reaches inside Sunny. Sunny takes 8 damage. You want to run. Everything is going to be okay. His status changed to stressed out. No skills, only attack. Ah! 20 damage. 10 damage. What is happening? What are they doing? they fighting what are they fighting over why does it have to come to this Basil sees something behind Amori. Amori sees something behind Basil. That's what they gotta do, right? They gotta... They gotta kill that thing. They gotta kill the thing that's behind each other. He has a knife? Are you sure about that? Maybe Basil's the one with the knife. Why? Why don't you stop? <laughs> Oh my god, what is happening? My eye, my right eye, Sunny's right eye. Okay, this has to be headspace. Right? Miwo? Miwo? Where are you going, Miwo? I'm back here. I didn't mean it last time when I stabbed you to death. I'm sure everything's going to be okay. Basil? Basil? Hi, Sonny. You found your way back home. 
I don't know if I've ever said this properly, but I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I gave you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. But somehow, whenever I try to help, I always end up burdening you instead. Even back then. All this pain we've been feeling, the guilt in our hearts. Even if you try to bottle it all up, it all comes out somehow. I want to say that everything will be okay, that we have no choice but to carry on. But that's up to you. Aubrey, Kel, and Hiro are good friends. You have to trust that they'll forgive us. Right. I don't know. Right, they don't... They don't know, I forgot about that. The only ones who know... Are Basil and... Basil and Sonia are afraid that if... If the rest of them knew that they would get... Well, bad things would happen, basically. It's hard to truly believe that, but... The photos in our album, they're not just photos, they're real memories. Our memories! It's proof of our friendship! Hold those pictures close, and remember what you want to protect. <laughs> I'm sorry. It looks like I'm burdening you again. Isn't this what they used to do back in the day? <laughs> the path to your future will open soon, but only you can decide what to do in the end. It's not much, but I'll be cheering you on. Basil? Mm, Basil. Sunny, let's make some new memories together, okay? Basil? Basil! Your acknowledgement of the truth has come at a great cost, but it is not too late for redemption. Fortunately, you still know the way back home. The way back home. I must... I must go home. Don't forget it's in the toy box. I don't know what's in the toy box, huh? Is it really the photos? The forbidden photos? It's in the toy box. His violin? Is it his broken violin? Is that what's in the toy box? Wait a minute. Books that mom and dad have collected over the years. All they do is gather dust. Mom's personal house phone. It used to be in mom and dad's room, but not anymore. A table lamp. Mom brought this one on a sale. I remember specifically because she made me go with her on a Sunday. <laughs> on a Sunday. A warm fireplace. My baby pictures are over the mantle. I don't like the smell. Not even in photos. This is one of the very few times that... This game is giving me a first person of Sunny saying anything. A nice big TV. Watching Saturday morning cartoons here was the best. Hey, we got pictures of their mom and dad. A floor lamp. Kel and I knocked it over the la knocked over the last one on accident. Mom wasn't too happy about that. A cactus. It was a gift from Kel's dad when we moved here. It has survived for a very long time. Yeah, a regular houseplant, nothing special about it. 
A shoe rack. Mom's shoes are a mess as usual. A trash can. Mew likes to hide in here. A coat rack. This is Dad's hat, but I've never seen him wear it. <laughs> Some small toy cars. Cal must have forgotten to take them home again. A TV remote. Dad gets really mad when it goes missing, even if it's usually stuck in the couch. A nice big couch, perfect for falling asleep. I can never seem to sit through a whole movie. A bunch of tacky ornaments. Mom likes buying these so much. She even asked Dad to build shelves so she can buy more. An old toaster! Oh, hell yeah. Mom says that's even older than me. Yeah, I'm ancient, guys. The stove. Mari begs Hiro to cook for her often. But since he makes too much, he ends up cooking for everyone. <laughs> A cutting board. Mari accidentally cut her finger here. It was the first time I saw her cry. A kitchen sink. Washing dishes is the worst. A microwave. I enjoy I've enjoyed many good meals with this. A trash can. Mule likes to hide in here. Mule. Mule. Can I go into the backyard? We always had a large backyard, so it's nice to finally make use of it now that there's a treehouse. The treehouse is further back, but I can still see my favorite tree. My favorite tree, the one you hung Mari from. Nope, can't go outside, obviously. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. It's in the toy box. The violin! <laughs> hi, I'm just popping in to say hi, but I want to go now because spoilers. Yeet! Hi, Ink. Bye, Ink. Goodbye, Mom. <laughs> one of the two old grandfather clocks. This one always seems to be running behind. I have a clock in my house that always runs behind. Some fake plants to decorate the hallway. I don't really care for them much. I'm sure Basil likes them. Mom's porcelain vases. There used to be more, but I broke one of them. Mari took the blame for it, though. <laughs> they should have blamed it on the cat. Come on. Some dirty laundry. Mari always asks me to fold laundry with her. A table lamp. It probably came with the house. An alarm clock for responsible people. It's set to be five minutes early. Mom and Dad's wardrobe. I'm not allowed to look in here. <laughs> Books that Mom and Dad have collected over the years. All they do is gather dust. What's inside the wardrobe? <laughs> Kinky stuff. <laughs> Can I look in the mirror? Okay. Some toiletries. Everyone is supposed to have their own section, but no one can really tell by looking. A toilet. Very reliable. Little plants. They're supposed to make the bathroom smell better. I'm not sure if they work though. Some dirty laundry. Yes. A bathtub. I don't have much of an opinion on baths. Dad's old computer, he gave it to us when he bought himself a brand new laptop for work. A phone that mom made me put in my room, behind it is a detailed schedule. Mario always has everything planned out. Mine and Mari's oh, school books. Mari has been coming home late because of cram school, she must be tired. Mari's clothes, they smell like clean laundry. They sleep together in the same room still. A wardrobe meant for clothing, but these days it's mostly full of old toys and candy. A table lamp. Mari has trouble sleeping, so she reads books before bed. I often turn off this light for her after she falls asleep. Oh, that's cute, they sleep in the same room. Basket's full of baby toys. I haven't gone around to throwing them away yet. Basket's full of baby toys. Oh, that's the same thing. Where is the toy box? Honey! It's almost time. You've been through a lot these past few days. You must be tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time now. It's tough to own up to them sometimes, but you'll forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, Sunny. You've worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. Know that I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be here. Good kitty. Meow. One of two old grandfather clocks. This one always seems to be running ahead. Mari's collection of sheet music books. Despite Mari being organized everywhere else, these music books are a mess. There's hastily written notes on almost every page. Mom and Dad's collection of vacation souvenirs. I never liked vacations, but looking back, it wasn't so bad. Regular houseplant, nothing special about it. A bunch of stools. Basil and Hero set these up so everyone could watch me practice. A 
a very, very comfortable bed. It used to be Mari's, but she switched with me when she noticed I had trouble sleeping. Mari's bed, and mine too when I had nightmares. Mom and Dad's bed. Mom sleeps on the left and Dad sleeps on the right. Ah yes, the chest was next to her body when they hung her. An empty clothing rack. Cardboard boxes are scattered across the floor. Do you want to unlock the toy box? Yes. It's the violin, right? It's either the violin or the forbidden photos. Ah, uh, yes. It is the violin. You got a violin. Strands of long black hair are entangled with its strings. You got sheet music. The paper is torn and wrinkled by blood, but it can still be read. Open toy box. Violin cannot be played, it's broken. Grand piano, the word of Moria is etched across the center. Uh oh, I don't like where this is going. And 75 hit? My, that's so much. Backyard? No. Mari, where did you go, Mari? Not here? Are you upstairs in one of the rooms? Nothing behind me yet. And he sleeps on Mario's bed when he has nightmares. That's cute. Yes, I got just what I needed. Uh-oh, my hand doesn't look so good. <laughs> you can't just tell people that, Kel. You have to keep a good poker face. Ah, what did you get behind me, Mari? I just got here, silly. Here, I brought cookies for everyone. Basil, are you taking a photo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, don't take a photo when I'm struggling like this. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Kel. It's just a card game. <laughs> huh? Another photo? And what's so funny, anyway? 
Is there something you're not telling us, Basil? Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. I'm pretty sure those two photos are in the photo album. You look at Basil's hand. It's a jack and an ace. Yeah, that's... This is from the photo album. Shh, don't tell anyone, okay? <laughs> Ivory stuffed toy, Mr. Plant Egg. A bunch of toys are scattered across the floor. The possibilities are endless. You look at Kel's hand. It's a four, a six, and a six. Don't, don't look, Sonny. It's, it's too horrible. <sighs> I'm going to lose, aren't I? Why are these like 10 year olds playing blackjack? I swear. Mario's cookies are... Mario cookies are the best, huh, Sonny? Oh, hero, don't be so humble. You know your cookies are way better than mine. Hey, that's subjective. Mario's cookies... Mario's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Oh, stop it, hero. You're embarrassing me. Look at hero's hand. It's a king, a queen, and an ace. <laughs> Talk about luck, huh, Sonny? Wait, who wins in this case? You look at Aubrey's hand, it's a 2, a 5, and a 10. Oh, what do you think, Sonny? What should I do? Decisions, decisions. Heroes cookbooks. Mario brought them for his birthday. A calendar. Some vacation is almost over. An old toaster. It does not make toast. No! Rip toaster that does not make toast. An old TV. Cal brought it up here, but it was pretty bummed out when he found out he couldn't use it. Yeah, I remember that. Are you sure you want to go? I want to look at my cards. You look at your hand. It's an ace and an ace. Tough luck as usual. It's time to go. You remembered. The smell of freshly baked cookies. It smelled better knowing that Mari made it from scratch. The violin mended a part of itself. The violin mended a part of itself. The violin. The violin represents Amori's... Not Amori's, but Sunny's. It, re it represents some part of Sunny that I'm not... Remember something his his belief in himself his positivity his belief in his friends something like that like his belief that everything will be okay in the end oh my god can't just <laughs> can't just have this photo album full of all of these photos and then go like, well, now it's time to actually go to all of the memories individually. Uh. Mm. And there, the watermelon's all cut up. Come on, everyone, take a slice. Yay, thank you, hero. Look at you, such a big, strong man. Oh, not now, Mari. <laughs> Woohoo! Nothing beats a nice, juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. That sounds like something he said before. <laughs> crunch, 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 crunch. Munches slowly. And then Basil takes a photo of Aubrey eating the watermelon. I remember that. Hey, don't take a picture of me while I'm eating, Basil. Ah, I'm sorry, Aubrey. I just thought you looked cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay, fine. I trust you, Basil. Dot dot dot. Ew, gross. Stop spitting seeds on me, Cal. Haha, <laughs> you have seeds all over your face. Well, how about this then? Ew, stop it, Aubrey. You're going to give me cooties. Okay. Hey, Sunny, did you want to see the photo of Aubrey? Yes, it's that one. Aubrey is so cute, isn't she? <laughs> Let them play, Hero. They're just teasing each other. Remember how we were when we were younger? I used to hide bugs in your desk all the time just to see your reaction. You're always so funny. W wait, that was you? <laughs> oh, whoops. A am I in trouble now, Hero? <laughs> 
Guys, come on, we're at the beach. We're supposed to be relaxing. Dot dot. Oh, this is the same thing. <laughs> Obby. An ordinary sandcastle. Can I not interact with the... <laughs> Relax, unwind, and enjoy. It's been ages since I went to the beach. For some reason, well, okay, this is just California things, but I feel like every single time I go to the beach, it's not sunny. It's just cloudy. <laughs> every single beach in California is just always cloudy. It's always cloudy. <laughs> Basil's tote bag. It's a little small, but he likes it. Tote, tote, tote. My plastic bag. It's functional. Aubrey's pouch. It fits her perfectly. No shoes at the beach. Walking on sand with shoes is the worst. Mari's beach bag. It matches with Hero's. Hero's beach bag. It matches with Mari's. Mari's picnic basket. Would you like to save? Okay. <laughs> A bunch of beach toys. Fun for everyone. An oil barrel turned in trash can. Are you sure you want to go? Yes. I think I've seen... I've seen everything here, right? I can't get in the water, unfortunately. Well, oh, it's time to go. And then the violin fixes itself again. You remembered the taste of watermelon. It tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone in the hot summer. The violin mended a part of itself. He's literally walking down memory lane. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god, I just got that. What's the next one? They're at their house or something, I think. There's also one involving the treehouse, right? Hmm, it looks like everyone fell asleep. I guess it's just us three now. Everyone must be feeling sleepy after such a... Everyone must be feeling sleepy after such a big meal. Thank you for cooking for all of us, Hero. Aw, it was nothing. I'm just practicing a little. I'm glad you all liked it. One day you're going to be a world famous chef and you're going to cook me lots of yummy food. <laughs> huh? Wait, I am? Of course you are, I believe in you, Hero. Well, if you say so. I'm glad you're using your camera now more, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Yeah, I guess it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Wait, wait a sec. There's something strange in this photo. Sniff, sniff. Hector, how could you? Oh, Hector the dog, not 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 the pet rock. Oh, I totally forgot about that. You're having a picnic at the secret hideout, yes. Mari's cookies. Crunch. Boop 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 boop. They're Mar- A group of pinwheels blow freely in the wind. They're Mari's cookies, but Hero's the one who uses cookies as restorative skills in headspace. <laughs> A bunch of toys are scattered across the grass. The possibilities are endless. Yes. Another watermelon? A half-eating watermelon. The other half is in everyone's stomachs. Hey, Sunny. I took a photo of everyone earlier. Want to see? Yes, I remember this photo as well. ba ba da ba ba This could have been such a good shot, but Hector had to ruin the photo with his poop. Ah, maybe I can cover it up with tape later. Wait, there's poop in it? Oh, over here in the corner. <laughs> Hector's poop. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, hey, little brother. Sorry, did we wake you up? You looked so peaceful sleeping there. Reminds me of when you were just a baby. Obby. 
Hey, Sunny, can I poke your brain for a minute? I really love cooking and all, and Mari always says I'm really good, but my parents want me to become a doctor. Do you think I should become a chef? Yes. Haha, <laughs> maybe. We're still young, we should dream big, right? Hmm, but yeah, my mom's gonna have something to say about that. Wait, what is he doing right now in college? I don't remember. He studies a lot, so he probably is going to doctor, uh, doctor route. The pinwheel blows freely in the wind. Save. <laughs> bark, bark! There's six pinwheels here and one over there, but there's also only six of them in total, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. The violin slowly fixing itself. As Sunny remembers the bond between him and his friends. He remembered the feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. It felt more comfortable because you knew that no matter what, Mari would always keep you safe. He believes in Mari so much that even in his hallucinations, it's still Mari keeping him safe. That's how much he believes in Mari. The violin meant it a part of itself. Interact with the water? I'm sorry, it's too late. There should be one or two more, I think. Oh no, just one. This is like the first day of school, right? Something like that. Hey, Sunny. Hey, Basil. What took you guys so long? Sorry. We got carried away playing this new game where you fight each other with these things called pet rocks. <laughs> Basil, Basil, take a picture of my new raincoat. Oh, okay, one sec. Do you like it, Sunny? It's my favorite color, pink. Ew, pink is a gross color. No, it's not, Kel, you're a gross color. He's wearing orange because he likes orange Joe so much. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Oh, Sunny, that reminds me. Mario and I were talking about dyeing our hair together. Ooh. They're both going to have pink hair. <laughs> Mario says she's going to dye her hair purple. Purple? <laughs> you want to know what color I chose? Pink, of course. Wait, are you saying you want to dye your hair pink? Ew, that's weird. And then she did dye her hair pink. She made a... She made a promise with... Mari, and she, even after Mari passed away, she's still stuck by that promise. Ew, that's weird. Why would you ever do that? <laughs> Dying? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it would be cute. Mari thinks so too. <laughs> I'll never understand you two and your crazy ideas. I think, I think pink would look good on you, Aubrey. What do you think, Sunny? Yes. <laughs> Sunny says that he Sunny says he thinks that pink is a great color. Wait. Basil, what do you think, Sunny? And then Sunny just Sunny just looks at Basil. <laughs> Sunny just looks at Basil and Basil knows exactly what Sunny meant even though Sunny didn't say anything. Because Sunny didn't say anything, so Basil had to tell them that he said yes. Is Sunny actually mute or something? See, even Basil and Sunny agree. You're the one who's weird, Cal. Whatever. What is it, Sunny? Do you want to see the photo? <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. You always ask to look at my photo whenever I take any pictures of Aubrey. Shh, 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 shh. Shut up, shut up, Basil. Do, do I maybe sense a little crush? <laughs> you feel your ears turning red. What? Oh, it's canonical? <laughs> Don't worry, I won't say anything. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Yay, that settles it. One day I'm going to dye my hair pink, but maybe not anytime soon. My dad is kind of strict about these things. 
Wow, it only took the entire game for it to be become canonical that Sunny has a crush on Aubrey. Amazing. You said you and Basil were playing that new Pet Rocks game? Hmm, maybe I should get into that too. Hey, I know. Why don't we go to Hobbies to check if they have any new stuff? Oh, are you going on ahead, Sunny? Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. Can I interact with any of this stuff? The answer is no. Are all these pinwheels everywhere placed down by these kids? <laughs> Did they place every single one of those pinwheels? It's a rainy day. Are you sure you want to go? Yes. You remembered the sound of falling rain as it hit your umbrella. It sounded more calming knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. Did you interact with Avi? Yes, I did. The violin mended a part of itself. Let's go. Was that the last one? Isn't there one more when they meet up at school? Hmm. Or was it something about... No, not the treehouse. What was the last one? Are you sure you don't want to be in the photo, Sunny? Sunny is a bit camera shy. We all have those, th we all have those days, don't we? Oh, right, his birthday party. It's okay, Sunny. You'll get used to it soon enough. <laughs> Wow, wow, this cake looks so amazing. You've really outdone yourself this time, Hero. Yay, thanks, Hero. I love strawberries. Basil, Basil, what wish are you gonna make? Hey, you can't just ask that, Aubrey. Oh no, it's Basil's birthday. Wait, what? Basil's birthday? There is one from Basil's. I thought it was Sunny's birthday. Or else it won't come true. Huh? Is that how it works? Then in that case, I wish that Kel would get straight A's in school. Hey, you can't do that. <laughs> huh. A wish? Ah, but what would I wish? What should I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. Oh my god, Basil, you're so sweet. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I think I'll wish for... Just kidding. It's a secret. Ah, uh, I want to know though. Guys, if we don't hurry, the candles are going to melt. Are we all ready to sing? Yeah, you bet. Do you want to start us off, Mari? Sure thing. Ahem. And one, two, three, four. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Basil. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! Blow out your candles, Basil. Make a wish. Oh, Sonny took that photo? Oh, right, of course he did, because he's not in the photo. You remembered Basil's smile as he was about to blow out his birthday candle. But you also remembered as Basil made his wish, you made one too. At that time, you wished for everyone to be happy. Unfortunate. The violin mended a part of itself. Well, I'm not even allowed to interact with anything in that one. You remember. Isn't there one more for his own birthday party as well? There's also maybe another one where they're just hanging out at his house, I think. There might be another one in the tree. No, we already went through the treehouse one. Wow, a new basketball? Thanks, bro. Oh, this is Christmas, right? No problem, Kel. You can thank me by doing a little better in school. Uh-huh, you bet. Okay, Sunny, it's time for you to open up your present. This year, you just you get just one present from all of us. It probably doesn't look like much, 
but we all had to save up for it together. Yeah! Me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. And Mario and I and Mario and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me, I had to deliver newspapers every morning for like three months. Hello, my toaster. I am not your toaster, Pasta Krita. I'm everyone's toaster. And you know how much I hate mornings. We know this might be a lot of pressure, but it's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mari told us about how you always sit in the room with her when she's practicing the piano. And there's even that one time I caught you trying to play your old mini violin even though it was too small for you. Anyway, this was Basil's idea, but we all decided to pitch in for a really nice one. So, yeah! We hope you like it, Sunny. This is from all of us to you. They bought him a violin. Did he really like the violin that much though? Because he ended up breaking it in the fit of stress. Ta-da! Did he ever actually want to play the violin? I can't really tell. It's your very own violin! We hope you like it, Sunny. Go on and try it out. You felt a tingling in your fingers. As if on its own, your body readied the violin to play. You remembered the anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin that it scared you, but you didn't mind because they believed in you and no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them because they were your friends. The violin regained its shape. He's ready to play the violin again for them. Oh? Remember the sound of falling rain as hit your umbrella? Ah yes, okay. Alright, let's go. Sunny, you're finally here. After this point, it's going to be up to you. You know, before we met, I had a lot of trouble fitting in. Even after we all became friends, I always assumed you were going to leave me eventually. But when the others were busy doing things, you always seemed to have time for me. You would listen to me talk for hours and hours. I could always rely on you to do that. I know we've missed out on each other for the past few years, but it doesn't have to stay that way. People always tell me that I'm dense or that I'm kind of careless. Well, that is true, Kel. But I'll always be here if you're okay with that. Sunny, we know that you're not someone who likes to take the lead. This has been really hard for you, but you have to put a little bit of trust in us too. Just because you've done something bad doesn't make you bad. You've had to live with this pain for so long, and you've been keeping it all inside. It might be easier to ignore your problems, but it's okay to cry about them too. There's more good times to come, life gets better, and you can be the one to make that happen. And then they all grew up. Whatever happens next is going to be your call. But we're here for you, because you want us to be here. Yes, Sunny believes in them enough to make them his party members in Headspace. <laughs> and we really hope that this isn't goodbye. No matter how far you push your feelings down, they'll always come back somehow. And what you do with those feelings, that will be your truth. Hey, Sunny. Break a leg for me, alright. <laughs> 
Whatever you end up choosing, we will always want what's best for you. Keep us in your thoughts. We'll be cheering you on. You can do this, Sunny. I promise to stick with you until the very end. Yeah, I think we'll always be best friends. That's okay with you too, right? Is it time to play the violin? It's time to play the violin. We believe in you, Sunny. Oh no. Oh no. It's time to play the violin. An empty music stand. Do you want to place down your sheet music? Yes. We placed the sheet music onto the music stand. The stage is ready for you. Do you want to play the violin? Yes. Is this black space? Wait, if this is... What happened after... What happened after Basil and... He, and Sunny fought? Well, they both... Sunny got knocked out from the fight, so now he's in headspace. Well, yes, it is the theme song. It's supposed to be a duet with the opening. Oh no, he's crying. Because Mario's not here to play his duet with him. Did it mean anything to play the violin if no one was listening? Hello, Amori. What are you? What are you, Amori? Ah, uh, yes, he has a knife. Of course. Huh? Yo, these are all... Well, they're not all music terms. But, you know... Your juice will not fall for three turns. Heal your wounds and come back stronger. Attacks three times, removes emotions and heals some heart. All right, we gotta start by buffing ourselves. Sunny gathered himself. Thirty-nine damage. All right, let's go. Allegro. Attacks three times. Ow. Is he slashing with the Val Limbo? <laughs> what is Amori? Amori is represents his negative emotions. Ow, that was a lot of damage.
Okay, and then heal. Sunny steadies his breathing. Remembered Kel's words. Friends. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Then we do this again. Ouch. This is too easy. Amori did not succumb, right, because Amori doesn't die when he reaches 1 HP. What? He recovered to full health? Oh god. You've caused so much suffering, yet you do nothing. And you've so, you've earned nothing in return. The more it erases the enemy. Ow, that's a lot of damage. You remembered Aubrey's wish. I hope you can find some peace, or you know, some happiness. He's using the red hands to hit him. That wasn't too damaging. Your friends will never forgive you. They'll abandon you like you did to them. And that's what you deserve. Right, Amori does represent his negative emotions. Amori did not succumb. This is his... Oh my god, what the heck? This fight represents Sunny battling fighting to believe in himself. He needs to defeat his evil emotions. You remember it, Hero's Promise. Last time, we made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. You tell yourself that you don't want to burden others, but the truth is that you're selfish. You just don't want people to depend on you. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Allegro. When do you think about others? How long are you going to let people take care of you? You say you care, but you're a liar. You've never done anything for anyone else. You're useless. Less than useless. You're sick. Did I run out of uses of Cherish? Because I already went through all three of my friends. The more it erases the enemy. People like you don't deserve to live. Amori did not succumb. Oh my god, you're OP, man. Oh god, please stop. Sunny steadies his breathing. Remember Basil's hope. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. Your friends are wrong about you. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe in the lie to protect yourself. Sonny gathered himself. Oh, 
you're nothing but a liar. And when they see the truth, they'll hate you as much as you hate yourself. That was not enough healing. If they know the truth, you'll never be able to regain their trust. No matter what you do, it will be hopeless. All you'll do is make things worse. It would be better to just die. be better to just die. I don't think I can win this. Okay, only a regular attack. It would be better to just die. I'm not going to die. Let me hit you first. Oh my god. doesn't die <sighs> You should just die No, I've actually never seen the game over screen in this game one time. This is my first time seeing it. That was actually impossible though, because Amori does not succumb. Even after reducing him to 1 HP, he doesn't go any lower. This is the same thing. Can I run? Nope, the hands don't let me run. Okay. did not succumb. I'm trying to see if there are any differences between this time and the previous time, but it doesn't seem like it. It also has less health each time it cycles. A 
more did not succumb. Hero's Promise. More did not succumb. Basil's hope is still the same as last time. It would be better to just die, huh? Amori will not succumb. background's getting more and more cursed. You killed Mari. She loved you, and you killed her. <laughs> Calm down. Hero loved her, and you killed her. Calm down. Aubrey loved her, and you killed her! Kel loved her, and you killed her! Basil loved her, and you killed her. This one has to be Mari, doesn't it? You remembered Mari's request. You'll forgive yourself, won't you, Sonny? You loved her, and you killed her. You loved her, and you killed her! Huh? It didn't work. You loved her, and you killed her! Should just die. Game over again. 
Oh no, this one's different. Do you want to continue? Yes. Oh, he has his violin. Oh, he already had his violin. He was attacking with it. <laughs> he got his color back. Oh? Play? The time he fell into the water and Mari saved him. it. Amori... Amori is no more. a little bow after doing his performance. Whoa, what? Mori is no Mori. <laughs>
Wait, is this real? Oh my god. What did Basil do to his eye? <sighs> Is this real life? Nothing but static. A, gi a get well gift from Vance, Kim, Charlie, Angel, and the Maverick. Get well soon, Sunny. We'll be waiting for a rematch. A table lamp. Door is locked. No, I'm not sure whether to believe this is real life or headspace, so um These guys have blue outlines, which means it's headspace. Basil? Choose the way, Toaster. If you ask me to choose between his friends and Basil, I would choose Basil. That is what I'm doing right now. I have to tell you something. <laughs> I'd like to sing this song, but I don't know the melody. Wait, that was the end? I can't sing a song that I don't know the melody or rhythm to, guys. That's literally impossible. That's just guessing. Like, there is no way for me to know that these notes would be so slow. I would have just sung all of them in like two seconds and been like, wait a minute. theory of note progression i i mean like i know harmonic progression but like you still can't you still can't predict the rhythm or the melody even if you can like predict where the harmony is going to go thanks for playing
That that is still such an open-ended ending. Okay, so the last segment was in real life, right? He the night before, Sunny and Basil got into a fight, an actual physical fight that was so violent that they actually ended each other up in the hospital. But why were they fighting? I don't get it. I mean, I kind of get it, but... Is Basil going to be okay? And then he says, I have to tell you something. So he tells his friends the truth of what happened to Mari. And we don't get any information on what happens after that. We just have to believe. Just have to believe that it was all, it will all be okay. Because that's what the game wants us to believe. It will all be okay. If I load from here, it's before the final boss again. Now it's time to... Now it's time to look at the Mori fandom for all of the deep lore. Reach the good ending. So I did get the ending. Okay. Wait, there are multiple endings? Do I even want to try for any of the other endings? Basil tried to kill Sunny because he was moving away from him. But, but why? That doesn't make any sense. <sighs> oh my god, man. Guys, op open-ended. Uh, Open-ended endings. It they leave so much, they left so much um dangling. <laughs> and. And Amori, the word Amori is never explained either, why his name was Amori. It's written across the piano, and that's the only place in real life that we ever see it. It was just the piano brand? It was just the piano brand. And then his... His... not evil, but... His alter ego... Made of despair. He named it after the piano brand. He shut himself in for like four years, that is true. The way he saw himself, the alter ego Amori, is based on guilt, and he attaches that guilt to um, Mari, right? But Mari is also represented by the piano.
He fights Amori. He fights against his own guilt. Using the violin. The violin, which represents his friendship, obviously. Um, but he couldn't win against Amori, because Amori did not succumb. And he almost wakes up. And he's like, no. I will continue. I will continue to fight. And then he plays his duet with Mari. And defeats Amori that way. He defeats his guilt because Mari wanted Sunny to be able to go on even after that. Even after what happened. And Sunny was like, I can accept your words now by playing. By playing an imaginary duet with her. He didn't defeat it, he accepted him. I mean, Amori faded away, so that's still very vague as to what happened to Amori. Does, isn't accepting in some way the same thing as defeating them anyways? You could argue that defeating something and accepting something might be the same thing. You're like defeating the lack of acceptance of it or something like that. There's something behind you, can't you see it? There's something behind... Basil? Why was Sunny fighting Basil? I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand that fight between Sunny and Basil right now. Basil. And. Sunny both had to live with the guilt of knowing the truth. Basil knows that Sunny is the one who killed Mari, but he deceives himself by saying that it was something behind Sunny. The thing is that this whole idea of something behind Sunny is also something that Sunny himself accepts. He also sees something behind himself, despite the fact that this idea originated from Basil. So I guess they both have very powerful imaginations. They were best friends after all. To the point where like Basil could basically read Sunny's mind <laughs> just by looking at him. And then Well you see. Sunny goes into Basil's room first with the intent of fighting him? Did Sunny already intend on fighting Basil when he went into that room? No, it said do you want to save Basil? Right. You go in there, you want to save Basil from what? The thing behind... The thing behind you? The, the stuff that's... The dark stuff that's around him? You're trying to save... You quote, save Basil from the thing behind him. Sunny tries to save Basil from the thing behind him by smacking him upside the head. And it's the same the other way around. It's the same the other way around. Basil was also trying to defeat the thing behind Sunny by smacking him upside the head. Basil was straight up getting possessive on Sunny probably because they had gone through a lot of things and just being together already helped him. Dude, I, want, I don't want to believe that it's because Basil became a yandere. I don't want to believe that it's because Basil himself was just, quote, evil. It 
Just to ask, do you know how Mari died? Of course, it's rec it's in the plush. Um, Sunny pushed her down the stairs by accident, or maybe partially on purpose, after they had an argument. And then she fell down the stairs and broke her neck and died. And Basil saw this happen. So Basil and Sunny went and faked her cause of death as suicide via hanging. The black thing was Mari or a guilt. The thing behind Sunny... Yeah, it is his guilt. But isn't that also supposed to be a Mori? So how can there be both a Mori and the thing behind Sunny? How can they both exist at the same time if they're supposed to represent the same thing? Or I guess they can exist in two forms at once. Basil and Sunny. Why were Basil and Sunny fighting? What I understand, what I understood from Basil, he started saying there's something behind you because he could not accept the reality of his friend killing her, killing his sister. Sunny's something, something behind this thing behind Sunny is an image of Mari hanging from, from the noose. Yeah, that's his guilt. Basil, the thing around Basil is a bunch of like tentacles and roots and something like that i'm not really sure what that is supposed to be though hmm So if there are multiple endings, if there are multiple endings... Okay, let's do this. Let's do this again. I'm pretty sure the first game over was real. That was just because I lost the fight because I was being stupid. But there's another game over that says, do you want to continue? You can choose no on that one. So I'm assuming that's one of the other endings. Let's see what happens there. I'm gonna have to do this whole fight again. There's so much to unpack in this ending, guys.
He starts off by playing the violin and Mario's not there to do the duet with him and he's playing to an empty audience. And then Amori shows up. Or he shows up to Amori. There's also some imagery with red hands that I'm not understanding yet either. Alright, let's fight again. This, this right here, guys, is why you should pay attention, pay attention in English class. I don't mean like English or literature class, so you can learn how to analyze these things. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Did not succumb. Right. Oh yeah, and that makes this the final boss of the game, huh? Fighting Amori. Oh my god. I finished Amori like a month ago and I still don't fully comprehend it. I think I'll probably just have to look up people's interpretations and formulate something myself after this stream. In the end... What are these red hands? You're selfish, you don't want to... What does selfishness have to do with that? No, they're just excuses. Reasons for him not to believe in his friends. When do you think about others? How long are you going to let other people take care of you? I think they represent guilt while you're like caught red-handed. Oh, okay. That is a very good interpretation. I might just go with that, to be honest. And then now there's a skull behind him. Then after all of that, the game doesn't tell you whether or not they can whether or not his friends could actually accept the truth or not. But does that really matter? The fact that the game ends before that means that 
the point, the message that it's trying to send is not that. It doesn't matter what actually happens, it only matters that in the end, Amori accepted it himself. You'll forgive yourself, won't you, Sunny? It's the little extra ending scene you didn't get that provides some more closure. Oh? But what do I have to do to get that ending? Water the plants when you get to do it. I tried watering them at one point, but they were all just dead. Or was I supposed to water them despite the fact that they were dead? Just when every time you go to headspace. All right, so if I choose no here, if I choose no here, then I don't defeat Amori. Wait, this is the same cutscene as last time. Except that Sunny doesn't play the violin. Oh, okay, and instead Sunny is the one who drops his weapon. And Amori defeats Sunny. Get ready to sing? Is there another song here? Please. Is it the same song? Wait. Welcome to White Space. You have been here for as long as you can remember. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. <laughs> a tissue box, you're wiping your sorrows away. Your sketchbook, take a look inside. And the thing is not on the last page anymore. Just a bunch of static. Meow. Waiting for something to happen. The light bulb is still gone. There's still red hands that take him back. A white door casts a faint shadow. What'd you like to do? Open the door. Bow, 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 bow.
They didn't even say anything to him. Would you like to make toast? Oh yeah. Photo of someone familiar. Waiting for something to happen. What is that sound? Um... Is this real life? Again? Yeah, he's in the hospital gown. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? Um... It would be better to just die. That's what Amori said, isn't it? That's what Amori said. It would be better to just die. You should just die. Close your eyes. You'll be here soon. It's Is this real life? Did he actually commit suicide by- Is too much of a banger for one where Amori fucking commits suicide. Hello? Well then, okay, um, are there any other endings that are immediately accessible to me right now? I think that actually gave a lot more information than I thought it would. The thing behind a more or Sunny, which may or may not be the same thing as Amori, is guilt. His guilt drives him to commit suicide. So... Basil is perceptive enough to see this in Sunny. Not saving Basil? Ugh! That's right, there is that too. I don't have a save point from before that though. I don't have a save point that's like, I don't have a save that's right before that. I don't have a save that's right before that. We'd have to go through too much of the game again, so I don't think it's worth, um, I don't think it's worth me doing it. Here. On stream, I mean. So. If Basil is truly perceptive enough to see that 
the thing behind Amori, or the thing behind Sunny intends to have Sunny commit suicide, then you could consider the his fight, um, Basil's fight against Sunny, to be good willed because he's desperate to defeat the thing behind Sunny in order to prevent Sunny from committing suicide. Right? That's why Basil was fighting Sunny in the bedroom. That's what that fight was about. As for why... Well, no, no, no. Sunny was fighting back, but Sunny was also fighting the thing behind Basil. So Sunny sees something in Basil that's similar to that. He thinks he needs to desperately... He desperately thinks he needs to defeat the thing behind Basil in order to save Basil from something else. I think I can accept that as the reasoning behind their fight in the bedroom. I think I can accept that. There's an ending where you don't save Basil. So if you don't fight Basil, what happens to Basil? I'm actually fine just knowing. You can just tell me. And I think Schwasian also said um, there's a there's an extra thing if I watered all the flowers. I guess I failed to water the flowers sometimes, so I didn't get it. Sunny fights Basil in bed. In bed? What do you mean? You mean in headspace? He fights Basil in headspace? If you don't save Basil, he kills himself. What?! Basil commits suicide? It's the same thing? So they're both trying to save each other from committing suicide, but they're also both delusional. So they end up just punching each other out instead. Okay. I mean, if Basil fails to save Amori, he also kills himself, so... It almost feels like that you necessarily do have to watch all of the end. If you go back to Sunny's house and pick up the knife, there's another. You can just... Wait, you can just like fucking stab him? I actually start... This is making me feel like knowing all the bad endings are required for understanding the good ending, <laughs> to be honest. It does add a lot of context, like... Like, you see why... More of why Sunny and Basil are doing the things they're doing in the ending. Right? Because now we know that Basil would have committed suicide if Sunny didn't intervene by punching him out. Um... Sunny commits Sudoku with Basil? What? Basil goes with him back to Sunny's house? And I'm guessing that there's there is nothing out there that says what how the rest of the group deals with the truth is there. There's probably no no ending expands on that and you're just forced to the game forces you to blindly accept that they will be fine with it because that's the whole point of the good ending. The whole point of the good end is that Amori not Amori, sorry, Sunny trusts that his friends will accept it in a good way and the game tells you to do that yourself as well you have to be like sunny and trust that they will you have to be like sunny and trust that his friends will accept it you can also get other boss heads when you don't open the door on kel don't open the door on kel you mean at the very beginning of the game Basil commits suicide, then Sonny goes home and stabs himself. Bo. 
Okay. And that's not too different from him jumping out the window of the hospital. Get other boss fights when you don't open the door on Kel? Wait, so you just... You don't open the door on Kel, you just don't do any of the daytime stuff? You don't do any of the daytime stuff at all? That seems like a very big change in the plot. You won't... How do you learn anything that way? If you don't open the door for Kel, you get an entire new route. There is an entire other game that... I missed by not. <laughs> We're not missed. I'd have to start over the game anyways, but okay. An entire new route. And I'm guessing that route also has multiple endings, huh? So the good ending, that's the canonical ending, right? Right? The co Is there a canonical ending? There are a lot of, there are new areas and bosses. What the heck? Okay, that's interesting. That's the gamer route. And that's the route for people who don't like plot. That's just for people who just want to play an RPG. <laughs> Are one of the endings considered to be the canonical ending? Mori canonical ending. Which ending is canon according to the game author? I don't think there can truly be as deemed by the author canon ending. Seems like it's kind of in the name, the true ending. Oh wait, one of the endings is canonically called the true No, it's just called the good ending. There's no such thing as the true ending. Fifty-five hidden achievements. Is there an ending that's canonically called the true ending? No way. The other route is very focused on the combat system. Well, yeah, I basically rolled the whole combat. Rolled over everything in combat in the route that I did. Like, I wasn't ex actually, now that I think about it, Humphrey was the last boss. Like, the last boss that you fight using the headspace cast. In this route, is Humphrey, and Humphrey's obviously not like the final boss of the game or anything, so... Combat in this game looked pretty bad, Plata. I think you just can't- I think you just don't appreciate old JRPG-style combat. <laughs> it did feel a bit imbalanced near the end, but maybe- maybe that really is just because of the route I was taking. And like, given that this is a, a very story-focused game, it's fine. It's fine that, um... It's fine that there's no the combat doesn't require like a high amount of com a high amount of gaming skill. Like if you just grind a bunch, then you can end up rolling over all the bosses, which is fine. That's fine. Because people who are just in the game getting the game for the plot are not necessarily the kind of people who are going to be good at the combat. So um yeah. The other route is normally called a Hikiomori. Oh, wait. Amori? Hikiomori? Is that why it's called Amori? Because he was a, he was a shut in for, four, for several years. Amori. Hikiomori. Is that actually why it's called Amori? But I mean, like, the piano brand was also Amori, so that may, maybe, maybe not the Amori route. The Hikiomori route. Oh my god, I see. Is that why the game's called Amori? You know, I thought that I would... I 
have a lot less to think about after the game and after the ending of the game. But all it did was give me more to think about. Um, <laughs> honestly, all the stuff from yesterday was more sad than the stuff from today. The stuff from today was just kind of like, what the fuck is going on? Oh my god. Well, because of the way I ended that, now we get to end with this beautiful screen right here. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. That's it, folks. I'm... Plans for future games? Plans for future games. I haven't thought about like what to do as my next like um <laughs> technically blue screen. I haven't thought about what to do for my next series. My next like continuous series. Obviously I still have to do Minecraft stuff. I need to um you know fight the Ender Dragon, get an Elytra, and then actually build a bunch of stuff. I do want to do a lot of of um Minecraft. Hollow Knight? I don't think Hollow Knight is very much my type of game. That's a platformer, right? Hollow Knight. Yeah, that's like a action platformer. Um, let me see. Like, I was thinking of doing some more short games or just like one-time streams, you know? Um, something... I was thinking of, what? Manifold Garden, Journey, One Hand Clapping, Mist, um, Hades, actually, and this Stephen Sausage Roll. I also wanted to do, oh, it's a Metroidvania, okay, see. I also, one thing I wanted to do was, um, one thing I wanted to do was to replay some games that I have played a lot of times before to show you guys why I like them so much. Um, so those games would be things like, well, mostly the stuff that I listed in my, in my debut stream, actually. So stuff like, um, Rez, Fez, Child of Eden, all that good stuff. It's sort of familiar, similar to Dark Souls, but it's still Metroidvania. <laughs> a Metroidvania that's similar to Dark- all Metroidvanias are similar to Dark Souls. All you're telling me is that it's a hard Metroidvania. I am not good at 2D platformers, I don't play Metroidvanias, so I would probably struggle quite a bit with that. Um, I also did, at some point I'm probably going to end up streaming Final Fantasy XIV. This is just unavoidable because of raiding related stuff, but when the first tier raid comes out, this is like in December to be honest, when the first tier of raid for of the next expansion pack comes out, I'm almost definitely going to stream that. And that is going to be content that you guys are probably not going to understand, but I'm still doing it anyways. Just, you know, that's just what I want to do. Mm. Tales from the Astro Causeways, Volume 3. I'm sorry, but it's probably not happening anytime soon because I'm really, really busy at work, so I don't have a lot of time or energy to, like, make super original content for my streaming stuff. We don't need multiple depression games back-to-back. -back. Sorry, which... Which game is a depression game? <laughs> yeah, no, no depression games, please. No more depression games. I don't want to play any depression games. Give me something exciting. <laughs> <sighs> Celeste is a depression game? Really? I thought it was just about jumping up a mountain. Um, window over. Yeah. <laughs> Toaster, how many cups of coffee had you had today? I had two cups of... Face tracking? Hello? I had two cups of coffee. This It's the usual. Toaster plays Delta Ruin. Oh, I could do that. I kind of forgot what happened in Delta Ruin Chapter 1, though, so we'd have to play Delta Ruin Chapter 1 again as well. <laughs> 
Oh, man. After finishing a more, my brain is just kind of like... My brain is just kind of like... That's it? What was that? It has left me with so much stuff to think about that I'm kind of just like... I'm kind of just feeling a bit lost here right now, to be honest. Let me drink some water. Before Delta Room played Undertale first. I already played Undertale before, though. I don't think I could do another... I don't think I want to do a full run of Undertale on my stream. Honestly, because that's that's a bit long, isn't it? Undertale's gonna would take me like a whole nother month. And there's a lot of games that I want to play because Amori did take quite a while. Amori took up like literally half my stream slots for almost two months at this point. I want to go back to my roots and play a puzzle game. Actually, pick up a puzzle game of some sort. I don't know. I don't know. I've also been partially thinking if it's possible for me to play like a more, at least just like the beginning of a more of one of the games that I tend to like lose myself in something like uh, Anno 1404 or even Factorio Satisfactory Dyson Sphere Project program. Um, I'm not really sure if those would make for extremely interesting streams though, so I don't know. Factorio, let's go. Honestly, I could probably launch a rocket in Factorio faster than it took for me to finish Amori. 7 times 4, 28 hours, right? Have you fought the Bread Twins? Ooh! <laughs> no, no I have not. I'm not going to do more streams of Amori, guys. I'm probably still going to keep- I'm probably going to play it more for like the other routes, but not on stream. That's not going to be interesting anymore. Satisfactory, yes, you really want to see me play Satisfactory. I could probably do like one or two streams of it, but I'm probably not more than that. Because <laughs> at some point, Super Liminal, I already played Super Liminal Puzzled Cat. Go look on, go look on my uh, channel page. It's actually, it's actually one of my recommended, my toaster's choice streams. One of the streams that I recommend everyone watch one of my VODs. It's actually one of my favorite, one of the favorite streams that I've done. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, but the day I played Super Liminal, my brain was like, it was like super activated, okay? I was like popping off in terms of like the reactions and everything to everything. Oh yeah, I also have a clip on my ch the only clip I've ever made on my channel is also from Super Liminal. <laughs> cute, cute, cute. You know, you might be a uh, wiggly dice. <laughs> you might be made out of five panels that are just stuck together. And then there's a little asterisk saying that cubes are. Oh, I, I think I said four panels, but you know, cubes are made of six panels. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. I've honestly been very, very stressed out from work-related reasons these past this past month or so, and looking at some things, it's not going to be over for like another month. I do feel like I have been kind of deprioritizing my streaming stuff recently, and yeah, that that is kind of true. But but I I still want to keep doing it. I will keep streaming, especially now that there's so many loyal breadcrumbs little breadcrumbs and I can't I can't disappoint you guys <laughs> I want to be here for you Ari the way just snapped and then she just died like that that was even with the truth that was still a very sudden and unexpected death because children don't think if you push someone down the stairs that would kill them right Sunny didn't mean to kill Mari 
Sunny might not even have meant to push her down the stairs specifically. Like the delivery one or something, truck simulator. Did I wait? It better not be the one where I was going like ooh ooh ooh. ooh. <laughs> uh. Oh man, I yesterday in the black space segment. Oh my god, the black space segment was tripping me out so much. I was like losing it. Even if you can't plan something for a stream, just play Euro Truck to chill with everyone. I can also do that in Minecraft after beating the Ender Dragon and getting my Elytra. After beating the Ender Dragon and getting my Elytra, I'm pretty sure there's like nothing else that would like stress me out in Minecraft to do. The frustration thing? Wait, what about frustration? Did I say something about frustration in Euro Truck Simulator? Wait, really? I talked about a lot of things that day. That was like a four hour long stream somehow. And, and I talked about a lot of things. Yeah. I'll, I'll try my best to um, keep on thinking of things to do with you guys. You were getting straight maniac in black space. Yeah, I know, right? No, um... Things... Areas like that don't really creep me out that much anymore because, you know, I've just... I've seen a lot of stuff like that in other games and just other media. But I can see, like, if this is... If that was, like, the first time you got to, like, a quote creepy zone in a video game, that could definitely have been something that will, was would like really have creeped you out. It didn't creep me out that much, to be honest. I won't be quite honest. It didn't creep me out that much, but it was still just like it wanted, it wanted the like going crazy vibe. So I went with it. It was very fun, to be honest. <laughs> the Muo thing. I was like, wait a minute. I'm just I've been pressing yes like ten times and it's not dying. And then Muo just died, and I was like, what? Ugh. Oh, now that... Now that I look... Now that I think back on it... During the black space segment, there's a bunch of parts where... A fake version of Basil gets killed. Over and over. And now that I think about it, Amori was probably doing that, wasn't he? Amori was doing that. It wasn't like we were just walking around and that fake Basil was getting killed by, um... By nature, because... That space is made by Amori. The spiders, Amori summoned them to kill him. The elevator chopping off his head, Amori did that. The the gang beating him up, Amori did that. Ever played Ib? No. I have not I might have played it for a little a little bit. Yeah, that's like one of the that's definitely one of the creepiest um the creep one of the creepiest pixel or not pixel, but like retro retro you know, 2D RPG type-ish things. It's it's like Black Space, but on steroids. Black Space is nothing compared to it. <laughs> RPG Maker games are very fun to play. Yeah, they're interesting. Bad ending? Oh yeah, the screen I'm on is the bad ending. I actually did do the good ending first, and then I did the bad ending afterwards in order to get more information. Yeah. But I did get the good ending as well, so don't worry about that. <laughs> or, well, I guess the achievements call it the good ending. So yeah, I did get the good ending. <sighs> Toaster chills out with everyone when playing Cookie Clicker. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not... I haven't I haven't had Cookie Clicker open this, this whole time. No, that I actually haven't. <laughs> Cookie Clicker. Imagine playing Cookie Clicker. I mean, like... <laughs> How many VTubers have actually streamed Cookie Clicker? I know Elyra has, and she did it for like five hours while talking with people, but I'm not really sure if I could do that. I say that despite the fact that I did a four-hour stream of Euro Truck. <laughs> <laughs> I 
What, 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 cookie clicker? What's, 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 what's that? Huh? What, what, what's cookie clicker? Prestige level is currently 34 trillion. <laughs> you wanna see, you wanna... <laughs> Look at this. You know how much of this game I've been playing the past two weeks? <laughs> Look at this. I've gotten so much. I'm, I'm already, what, what four, six, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the only things I'm missing are like the really hard ones at this point. Like, um, what is it? Where is. Where is. And let us ignore the fact that I'm also using mods, lol. <laughs> Look, I, I've already had to put where I can almost reach 500 um, idol verses. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. I'm already too deep into this game. <laughs> I mean, we could definitely do a stream where I just play Cookie Clicker in the end game because there's definitely. Can I see your shadow achievements? Yeah, I have True Never Click. I haven't gotten too many of them. I have True Never Click and only Speed Baking one. I never went for Speed Baking two or three. I also I am using add-ons right now as well, so um. I mean, like, you can see I'm using add-on because CCSE is installed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm still missing, like, a lot of these achievements. The ones for baking a shit ton of cookies. And definitely the CPS ones, they're still, like... I still need to increase my ascension to, like, a quadrillion at least at some point. And, you know, idol versus getting 600 idol versus is such a pain as well. And then, you know, there's sugar lumps. Because I just started the game, I only have a few sugar lumps. And, like, it's just going to take forever to get all of this stuff, forever to get everything to level 10. The only things I have level up, leveled up are, you know, the four mini games and then the gardens at level 4, because, you know, I gotta level up the garden to get more. Bots. 15, 15 sextectillion. That requires 52. I don't even know what that was a number. It's a big number. Uh, yeah, E plus 51. <laughs> At some point, you just kind of stop paying attention. You just know, you know, how numbers go up. <laughs> Shut up. I'm, I'm, I'm closing that. That you, you guys didn't see anything. <laughs> but yeah. Next week is probably going to be Ender Dragon Fight. Next week I'm going to be doing the Ender Dragon Fight. I've been looking into bed techniques, so I will probably do some... I'll probably try to fight him with a bed, to be honest. And... I might have, I might have a collab coming up. You heard it here first. I'm doing a collab with someone I haven't collabed with before. Hopefully, if they're still up for it, at least. I have like two save data on Cookie Clicker Web. Lol. Yeah, no, I never played Cookie Clicker when it was on web. I only started when it went on Steam. And well, you see how much. Like, literally, I put Cookie Clicker on the side while watching VTuber streams, and then, and then I just, you know, do the combos as they pop up. Dragonflight plus Frenzy plus another building thing, and then you just get all the cookies. Top 10 anime fights. It's not going to be an anime fight. Sorry, did I say fight the Ender Dragon? I meant put, put him to bed. I'm going to put the Ender Dragon to bed. I'm going to tuck him in very nicely with some beds in the end. <laughs> <laughs> the collab is a spoiler. I'm not telling you guys about it until I've gotten it um until until I've confirmed confirmed the collab. <laughs> and actually maybe the thing we're doing won't even be on the schedule. Who knows? Who knows? I saw someone say Apex Legends, but honestly I haven't played Apex in the, in quite a while either. Um first person shooters just take too much time to keep up with and I don't really have a lot of energy to keep up with too and it's not really just about time but it's also about my level of energy in life like i'd really like to do more things but 
I've said at some point that I'm I'm pretty sure at some point I've said that I'm like a very low energy person so like as much as I hate that I'm a low energy person I am so it really sucks that I don't have the energy to do more things that I want all the time yeah no I'm not gonna play any first person shooters please <laughs> uh. For some reason, I do want to play a city builder or a automation game on stream though. So that might happen at some point. I don't think I'm going to have... I don't think I'm going to have another game that like takes multiple streams to finish for a while. At least not until I can confirm that I have more time to um, dedicate to streaming because because like having half of my streams every single week be taken up by Amori, you know, half of two, actually did start to get a bit annoying to myself at some point. And I'm sure you guys want, I'm sure that all of my breadcrumbs who are not here right now, who didn't want to see me play Amori, want me to do something else. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. Thank you everyone who did um, come with me on this journey through Amori, through the whole thing. And also those of you who just popped in every now and then because um because you guys have already played the game or something like that. Yeah, a hey, puzzle cat. This is my first time here, but I enjoyed the stream a lot. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I tried, I tried very hard with the uh, voice acting, especially for the part with Basil. Oh my god, that was difficult. Was your sleep stream? No. Yeah. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the stream here today. Um, I'm a toasty roasty roaster. Who roasts a toast to make toasty roasts? In goes bread, out pops toast. That's how toaster roasts. Oats a toaster. And may you all be blessed with plausibly deniable toaster related miracles. Bye bye. <laughs> Yo, bye, Mr. Toaster. Obviously, don't need to answer, but my extra sensory perception is telling me that something big is coming for Arcade. What, what are you talking about? Every single Arcade of Data is big. It's more of a matter of what I'm personally involved with instead of what is happening for our kid. Please, please do understand. And it's a toaster. And may you all be blessed with possibly the inevitable toast related miracles. Good night. And don't let the somethings bite. <laughs>